Hello everyone, my name is Alia and these are the top stories for today. Make sure you watch the entire video and share it as well. Karachi police on Sunday arrested two men for running a coronavirus vaccination racket in the port city. Karachi Zone South Police Chief DIG Javed Akbar Riaz said, the two men who were arrested from the city's defense phase two, in their statement, claimed to have support from government institutions. The suspects sold vaccines from rupees 15,000 to 17,000 and would also administer it to people at their homes. The police official said, adding that they had recovered vaccines and vaccination cards from the suspects. The police official said the arrested suspects did not have the required approval from relevant authorities for inoculations or vaccine distribution. The suspects are being interrogated further. In a bid to overcome the excessively hot weather in Dubai, the government of the United Arab Emirates has created artificial rain. The rain was caused by using drones that flew into the clouds and released an electrical charge, thus stimulating them and causing downpours. The temperature in the desert city had lately reached 50 degrees Celsius. Artificial rain is part of a mission to increase rainfall in UAE, which will increase the average annual rainfall by four inches. Per the report, due to rains, water has accumulated on various highways, thus making it difficult for people to drive. On Sunday, the UAE's National Meteorological Agency also released a video of the heavy rains. With weather in cities like Karachi also reaching high temperatures, do you think that our government should also invest in such initiatives? Prime Minister Imran Khan on Monday thanked the people of Azad Jammu and Kashmir for placing their trust in PTI during the July 25th Legislative Assembly elections, in which his party emerged as a victor. The PTI emerged as the largest political party in the AJK Legislative Assembly elections and will consequently form a government in the region. According to the unofficial results of the AJK Election Commission so far, the PTI has won 25 out of the 45 seats. PPP has won 11 seats, while PMLN has secured 6 seats. Unofficial results are in for all constituencies, except LA-16, which has been withheld. Ballot papers were lost in a clash at two polling stations in the constituency, said Khan. He said polling could not be held at two more polling stations due to the dispute. Celebrations broke out all over Kashmir after PTI was declared the winner across the majority of seats. We will focus on bringing the people out of poverty through our Ehsas and Kamya Pakistan programs, establish accountability and transparency in government, the Prime Minister said in a tweet. The Premier also congratulated all of PTI's successful candidates. As an ambassador for Kashmir, I will continue to raise my voice on all international forums, including UN, to ensure the international community fulfills its commitment of self-determination to the Kashmiri people through a UN-sponsored plebiscite. Two PTI workers were killed in a clash during polling Sunday. Supporters of the PPP and ruling PTI clashed in one constituency, leading to the two deaths, police officials had said, according to a report. Bodies of Pakistani mountaineer Ali Satpara, Iceland's John Snorri, and Chile's Juan Pablo have been found. Confirmed Gilgit Baltistan Information Minister Fatehullah Khan. Sergeant Satpara, along with Canadian filmmaker Elia Saikali, is summiting the K2 to find the bodies of his father and his companions, Nori and Mohar. The mountaineers had gone missing on February 5th and were declared dead a few days later after their bodies were not found and the rescue mission was called off. The team had reached Camp 4 this morning and flew a drone around the area in search of the bodies. Through the drone, the team was able to detect a body above Camp 4 near the bottleneck.
a message from Saikali said that Sajid Satpara has buried Juan Pablo and that his father's body is located above the bottleneck. A minute later, Saikali sent an SOS message for more oxygen as the team was running low on it. If anyone can help us get more oxygen, anyone from Pakistan with influence, people at base camp leaving, we could use your help. Earlier, the GB information minister told Geo News that the team had located the first body at close to 9 a.m. this morning. John Snorri's body was located. He was wearing yellow and black colored clothes. He added that the second body was located at 12 p.m. but they have not been able to identify the other two bodies. Khan said that the army helicopters are on standby for the rescue mission and that the digging process to recover the bodies is underway right now. He added that the army and the government are on high alert. Thank you for watching the news. Please listen and share with others. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye.